Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to add album art to a release on Music Friends. Um, so this is a release I have in hand. I am logged in, registered and logged in, and I am on the relevant artist page. And the release that I want is already in here. Uh, if you need help with any of that, then uh, search for the relevant videos. Uh, so I'm going to click on the single here, Best Pants. Now we're in the release group, and uh, we are going to go over this briefly because it is quite important. Now this is where you would have all the different versions of a release, um, and they can have different covers. So just to be clear, if I have the vinyl in hand, and I think that the cover might be different to the CD, or the CDR in this case, or digital, um, it's best to add a new release. Um, however, uh, when in doubt, um, often the cover is the same, uh, you can add it, but uh, don't get offended if somebody knows it's not the same, or the format's different, uh, and they ask questions, or your, vote, your edit is rejected. Uh, it could happen. Um, but in this case, I'm in the CDR release now, and we can see no cover art available at the top right, and uh, cover art zero here. So I'm going to add my covers. So next step is to click on cover art here, and then uh, add cover art. If there was some cover art that we wanted to add to or remove, it would show up here, working with a blank slate. So we can click on add cover art. Um, and now uh, select images. So we can either select here to browse, um, but I have prepared some files on the desktop. I'm just going to drop them in. Um, I could add them one by one. So add that, or I can uh, just select the rest of them, add them all at once. Go, and if I make this large again, here we are, it's all been added. Um, so files for file format supported, JPEG and PNG, maybe a few others, I don't actually know, but your, your uh, most common format. And um, the Internet Archive that hosts these images for us doesn't have a size limit. So uh, really high quality images, you can put them in. Um, let's just, let's do a moment of silence for the Internet Archive. Brilliant. All right, a little bit of appreciation there. Now, the other thing to do, and this is pretty important, if you want the cover art to show up in the top right or to be uh, used for tagging, you are going to want to tick Type Front. Otherwise, it's not going to show up anywhere. Uh, Music Brains um, automatically uh, detects the first front cover image, the first in this order ticked as front, and that's what will be pulled by tagging software, pick out, and displayed on the website. Now, in this case, the front is also part of the booklet. Um, so I'm going to also tick booklet, and this is the back of the booklet. Um, not much of a booklet, just the two pages, but this is a folded piece of paper in the front. And now let me say, we're working with a gold standard here, um, so to speak. So uh, these, are all, uh, these are all images that I've scanned. I've got them in hand, the high quality. You might very well just be working with one small image from the internet is the best you could find um, for a release, that's fine. Other people can always improve on it and add a better one later, or you can later. Uh, but this is really kind of the gold standard. Um, the other thing we'll look at, oh, it's already done it. Um, we've got these little arrows here. We can rearrange the, the order of these images. Um, now definitely the front cover first. It's always good for me. I tend to follow the order of how you open up a package that's in hand or how you browse it. So a front cover, inside cover, uh, CD, the matrix, the back of the CD, and then the back cover, um, and so on. Um, and yeah, you really, really scan everything that that is there, more or less. Um, so in this case, medium. So this is the CD or the the vinyl medium. Um, and we've got matrix uh, run out that is CD specific those are the little numbers on the inside of this back of the CD um, which is visible on the when you get the full zoomed in image of this and here we've got back this is the back cover and um, you can't see it that well Let's just have a look here 
It's actually got the the spine included as well. So this is the spine, no text on it, but the spine is there. So we are also going to tick spine. So back and spine is quite common for CDs. Um, now the other thing that's missing here uh, would be a, a tray. That's the, the back of this piece of paper. And quite often that's got a graphic on it that you scan as well, and so forth. Uh, but not in this case, we've just got a black, uh, black, plastic plastic cover covering that up so no scan of that um, and now the edit note we're just going to say where we got the pictures from and this is again it's quite important because other people are going to come along and they're going to improve uh, the community always improves on the information in here and if you don't leave an edit note they're going to assume it's low quality information and they might have found something better in this case i'm just going to put my scans because that really is um you know, they know I've got it, um, it's first-hand information. Often a URL will go here, uh, if you pulled it off a website or from another database, just paste it in and then people can see where you got it from. Um, or even, you know, Google image search. Now obviously if someone's got a better source they might replace it, but that's great, letting people know that uh, your source isn't ideal is just as useful, if not more so, then letting them know that your source is, is a good one. Um, so here we go, we're, we're good to go. I'm just going to double check that. All right, I'm going to click on enter edit. Um, and we will wait for these to upload. Now I'll probably fast forward through this bit. done. Uh, so how long it takes is going to depend on what kind of images you upload. Again, well, for large, these are 600 dots per inch uh, PNG, so it's archival quality, which is great. Um, it'll be much quicker if you're just uploading something off the internet. Um, and what we can see here is that it's now automatically pulled the first in the order tagged as front to the top right here. And that's going to mean that uh, that pick up Music Brains Picard other tag software is going to pull it as well, and it might take a little bit to load. So let's re let's reload. See if any of these have appeared. Yep, none yet. That's all right. Give it a minute or two, depending on how the servers are. You can also see that it auto generates your different sizes. So this is why we upload um, in uh, as high quality as you can, because you can always uh get the 1200 pixel here or the uh, 250 pixel um, so it's going to auto generate all that now if we go back to the release page this pants up here uh, voila got album art 